Next, what is a seer? In the Book of Mormon, Ammon explains the role of a seer to King Limhi. But a seer can know of things which are past, and also of things which are to come, and by them shall all things be revealed, and hidden things shall come to light, and things which are not known shall be made known by them. Look at this beautiful picture. What do you see? Wouldn't you love to be canoeing in this peaceful setting? Doesn't it look appealing? What if your view was suddenly enlarged and you saw this? The canoe ride would be very different than you first perceived. Spiritually, seers see the wider view. They see what we sometimes cannot see. Their words and counsel help us to see the larger view. If we heed their counsel, holding fast to the iron rod, we will be safe. Let me give you an example. President Hinckley has spoken strongly about the blessings of tithing. He speaks to us as general authorities about it. He has said, we can pay our tithing. This is not as much a matter of money as it is a matter of faith. I urge you, every one of you, to take the Lord at his word in this important matter. We reiterate the promise of the Lord given anciently through the prophet Malachi that he will open the windows of heaven upon those who are honest with him in the payment of their tithes and offerings, that there shall not be room enough to receive the promised blessings. In the fall of 2001, three of the 12 were in Brazil at the same time, and each taught the promises of an honest tithing. A few months later, a young college student in Sao Paulo was put to the test. She was working and going to school. Here are her words as told by President Hinckley. The university in which I studied had a regulation that prohibited students who had not paid all their fees from taking tests. I faced serious financial difficulties. It was a Thursday when I received my salary. When I figured the monthly budget, I noticed that there wouldn't be enough to pay both my tithing and my university fees. I would have to choose between them. The bi-monthly tests would start the following week, and if I didn't take them, I could lose the entire school year. I felt great agony. My heart ached. I had a painful decision before me, and I didn't know what to do. Through prayer, she determined that she would trust in the Lord and in the words of the prophets. On Sunday, she paid her tithing. The next day, she sought a way to be able to take her test, but could not find a solution. She then explained what happened. The working period was ending when my employer approached and gave the last instructions of the day. Suddenly, he paused and asked, How is your college? I was surprised. The only thing I could answer was, Everything is all right. He looked thoughtfully at me and left. Moments later, the secretary entered the room, saying that I was very fortunate. The employer had just said that from that day, the company would pay fully for my college. Before you leave, she said, stop at my desk and inform me of the costs so that tomorrow I can give you the check. The student then explained her feelings. After the secretary left, I knelt exactly where I was and thanked the Lord for his generosity. I said to Heavenly Father that he didn't have to bless me so much. I only needed the cost of one month's installment, and the tithing I had paid on Sunday was very small compared to the amount I was receiving. Then she recalls this. During that prayer, the words recorded in Malachi and declared so often by the prophet and apostles came into my mind. 
Prove me now herewith, saith the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that there shall not be room enough to receive it. End of quote. Clouded in the mists of darkness, the decision was difficult. The outcome was unsure, but she held fast to the iron rod. Her faith in the Lord and in the Lord's prophets was confirmed. While all experiences may not be so immediate in their resolution, the promises for those who honestly keep the law of tithing are absolutely certain. I have heard President Monson say to return missionaries, there is one way you will always stay active in the church. Always be honest in the payment of your tithing. What a beautiful promise from the first counselor in the first presidency of the church.